No, y'all need to come up here for real. The police is on the way. These people went from giggling, laughing to serious as a heartbeat in a matter of two seconds. YouTube, it's your girl Erica Lene, and I am back with another story time video. Hey y'all, hey y'all. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back, y'all. I am excited about telling this story time, y'all. As y'all can see by the title, this one is gonna be crazy. You know, it's gonna be funny though. And it is a true story. Let me just put that on out there, y'all. This actually happened, okay? But just real quick. When I am referring to, you know what, I'm going to be saying 420, and when I refer to what 420 gets you to, I'm going to call it cloud nine, okay? So I'm not sure if I can use those actual words on YouTube, which is why I'm going to use those kind of code words, but yes, y'all, I'm going to hop right into this story time. Actually, before I get started with the story time, let me go ahead and say thank y'all so much for supporting me, watching my videos, y'all. My hairstylist scam me video is pushing 4,000 and that is the most I've had on this channel so far. So thank y'all so, so much for that. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy y'all supporting me and I appreciate it. Make sure y'all comment below. Let me know what else y'all wanna hear from your girl because I have a lot of stories to share, okay? But like I said, we're about to get ready to hop into this story time here. If you've been here before, you know the deal. If you need something to drink, something to eat, you know, some wine, chips, whatever it may be, sis, go ahead and grab it and come back because I'm gonna hop right into the video, okay? All right, y'all, yeah. So, y'all, I'm gonna start from the beginning or give y'all a little setting, okay, to this story. So, this took place back when I was in college, y'all. And I wanna say, I was in college between the years of like 2013 and 2017. So, I wanna say this was about 2015, 2016. I'm not really sure when exactly, but it was somewhere around that time. So, back when I was in college, y'all, we used to do these things called sets, which is S-E-T-S, -S, and kickbacks, okay? So, a set was more like a house party type of vibe. You know, it was a lot of people there, loud banging music, you know, drinks, you know, a party vibe, basically a club vibe, but at someone's apartment, someone's house, okay? A kickback was more so chill. You may have invited just a few friends. It may be anywhere between about five to 15 people. Music playing, but not busting out the windows with the music. You know, still some drinks and other things there as well. But it was more of a chill vibe, like, you know? So this particular night, we decided, me and my friends, decided to have like a kickback. Just invite a few people that we knew really well and then just have a good night we didn't want to go out that night because we really used to go out like every weekend whether it was a set an actual party a kickback whatever we were always going out so this particular night i don't know why but we decided that we were going to stay in and invite some people we know over so that's exactly what we done okay this took place at my friend's apartment so i just went over and then we had some more friends come over there as i said but yes, y'all, so this night, it was fun. You know, everything was going well. People showed up. I want to say it was somewhere between about 10 to 15 people there, okay? So we had a, we're having a good time, y'all. Um, it's me, all my friends, and we had some other friends come, as I said. Now, I'm going to name the main character. I'm going to name her Chanel. I'm going to name her Chanel, y'all. Um, so it's me, Chanel, my other friends, and other people. It's going good so far. Everybody's drinking, everybody, music is playing, you know, some people eating. It's just like everybody doing their own thing, people playing games, table sitting down talking, whatever it is, but everybody's vibing, like it's going good. And one of the guys, okay, they brought 420, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all this right now too. I have never been like an avid user of 420. Never, okay? I just could never get jiggy with 420. I can't get jiggy with this shit! I just could never get with it. So I've never been like a 420 user anyway, but this particular night back then when I was in college, I was gonna try 420, okay? And one of my friends, Chanel, also is not an avid user of 420. And she was also gonna try that night too. Now, none of my friends are avid users every day 420 years. 
but there's another two who every now and then participate and they kind of you know used to what it what happens and everything so it was not like something brand new to them but for us we had never been to cloud nine <laughs> okay we had never been to cloud nine before we were just gonna try it out tonight and see what happens you know so we did just that I tried and I still did not get to get to cloud nine that night, y'all. I did not. And I just, it's just the taste that is left in my mouth. And every time I tell people who are users of 420 about a taste that is getting left in my mouth, they're like, well, you shouldn't taste anything. But at some point when, back then when I tried, I did get to cloud nine and I still had that taste and I don't like that taste. So that's pretty much what ixed out. 20 for me okay but like i said y'all chanel also tried as well and chanel that night she got to cloud nine okay baby probably cloud 10 okay chanel got there wherever there is chanel got there okay so everybody's still vibing chilling you know listening to music people are participating in 420 some people aren't whatever it may be but at some point in the night two of my other friends after they had gotten to cloud nine they kind of got a little hungry you know if you know anything about that that's something that happens when you participate in 422 so um they got you know they got a little hungry and there was like this like mart slash like um gas station and like corner store right around the corner from where they were staying so they decided that they were gonna go around the corner and grab something to just snack on eat or whatever and so we was like cool okay that's fine so they went on and drove around there i don't know if they drove through the cut i don't even know if there was a cut anymore i don't forget but it was literally right on the corner not far from where they stayed at all so they decided to go ahead on and go they went everything's good everything's cool at some point after they had left I decided that I needed to use the bathroom. I remember this vividly that I was in the bathroom when this story began to arise, okay? So I was using the restroom and while I was in the restroom, I hear someone like beating on the door. And I'm like, wait, I'm in here. Like, you know, someone's in here or whatever. And then I hear Chanel like, oh, it's me, open the door. And I'm like, okay, I'm almost done. So once I finish using the bathroom, I go ahead on and open the door for her. She comes in and like instantly I can tell she's on cloud nine somewhere up there cloud nine ten eleven like i can tell she's there wherever there is i can tell she's there okay instantly because she's like oh my god like you know i'm feeling kind of weird i don't know what this feel like what this is i'm not feeling okay i need to use the bathroom so and i was like look girl i think you're on cloud nine i mean it's, it's almost looking very clear to me that you're on cloud nine but you're good don't worry about it you know i'm giving her her little spiel you know like you're good go ahead you gotta use the bathroom go ahead use the bathroom i'm gonna wait out here for you but you're good she's like okay okay just wait for me out here so i do that i go ahead on and sit on the bed because i think i went into one of the bedrooms to the restroom um that's just how these apartments were made it was no like restrooms outside of the bedrooms. so yeah she went on and went into the bed into the bathroom and i sat on the bed waiting on her to come out once she comes out again, I'm like, look, you good. You know, you're on cloud now, but you're good. Just chill. Don't participate in 420 anymore. Okay, don't participate anymore because you're there and you don't know how you feel. So just chill, but you're good right now. Like, you know, so at this point, we're starting to walk back out towards the party where everybody else is. Okay. And we kind of go our separate ways for whatever reason. So I go ahead and I start talking to people, doing whatever I'm doing. And then Chanel goes ahead wherever she's going and she's talking to people, whatever. After a few minutes, I happened to look over because there was like a little commotion in the corner a little bit. And I see Chanel, one of our guy friends, and probably like one other person like in the corner kind of like having a discussion. And it was looking like, I don't know, it was giving like, hmm, let me go and see what was going on. Like, you know, so I go join the conversation and I'm like, what's going on? Like, and our guy friend is like, she said she really like not feeling good. Like she feels like she about to die. And I was like, y'all. I don't know we all get that one friend that over exaggerate like you know and i don't think that they be trying to over exaggerate but if they feeling a little weird they just panic like you know and this was chanel and me and chanel has been friends for a long time so i know chanel's character and i know that she's okay but i know she is at this point she's that person that's going to take it there okay she's gonna take it there she's gonna go overboard she's gonna panic that's just her character so i'm like telling them like calm down She's good. She's just on cloud nine. She she hasn't been there before, you know. But I I got her. She's good. 
So I stopped pulling her to the side, you know, and I'm like, what's wrong? And she's going on like, oh, no, I'm like, I'm going to die, no, for real, all of this. I'm like, no, you're okay. You're okay. She's like, no, we need to call the police. I'm like, no, no, that's one thing you can't do when you participate in 420. We know that. You cannot call the police, okay? There, it, that can't happen. That cannot happen, okay? I'm like, no, girl, I'm literally telling her, like, you're good. You're good. Chill out. You're good, right? And as I'm doing this, she seemed like she's starting to get a little calm. So I'm like, wait a minute. And I walk to the balcony to look out to see. Because like I, like I told y'all earlier, two of my friends had went to the store. They had not came back yet. So I go to the balcony. I look out. I don't see anybody out there just yet. So I go back in with her. And I'm kind of consoling her or whatever. And then I'm like, after a little few minutes later, I'm like, darn, where are they? So I start walking out again. At this point, I still don't see them. So when I go back into the apartment this time, there's people back around Chanel and Chanel's panicking. Okay, so now when I go back over there to tell them like, come on, I'm gonna just bring her with me like she's okay. Our guy friend go ahead and let me know that he called police. What? What the fuck? Y'all, he goes on to tell me he called the police. At this point, y'all, everything went red for me. Cause at this point I'm like, what like i'm starting to panic now like my heart is beating faster i feel me go into like rescue mode like almost like what do i need to do like what like no i can't believe it so i'm really going back and forth i'm like wait why would you do that like you know he's like oh because i guess i don't want to be here you know something happened and all of this i don't want to be at fault cut the cameras dead ass I was like, she's good. I told you she hasn't been there before, but I'm like, okay. He's like, I don't know, but they said they're on the way. They're gonna send ambulance and stuff. And I was like, I could not believe it. Like, I don't know. I think a part of me wanted to believe it was a joke because who does that, right? So after I come to the fact that, wait, this ain't no joke. We need to get some stuff situated. Y'all gotta go. So I go back out to the balcony. I'm calling my friends now and I see them. They're kind of like hiding and giggly and all of this. And I'm like, no, y'all need to come up here for real. The police is on the way. It's like, y'all, these people went from giggly laughing to serious as a heartbeat in a matter of two seconds, okay? And I mean, that's something that'll get you like that. So I'm like, yeah, so they coming up the stairs and I'm telling them what happened when I, cause I go out the front door and I'm like telling them like, cause people are leaving now. Like the people that we had invited, they're starting to leave. And I'm telling them like what happened and stuff. And one of my friends is like, oh my God, like she's kind of nervous and panicking. And the other one's like, why would she do that? Like, she's starting to go in on Chanel. Like, why would you even do that? Like, you know you okay. You know you're on cloud nine. What would make you go ahead and like have them call the police? Like, you know, she's like, girl, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Like, you're good. So they going back and forth. And I'm like, y'all, forget all that. We need to get this together. We need to try to do the best we can to kind of make this look like at least like we just need to get ourselves together. I don't really know what we got to do at this point because if y'all have participated in 420 before yourselves then you know like i know the scent that comes from 420 is not going nowhere in 30 minutes not in an hour like you know you can spray everything you can spray um you can let air in you can open windows it's still not going to clear out the 420 smell if anything you spray something it's going to look like you spray something to cover it but it's not going to leave that quick and since he has called the police and they're saying they're sending the ambulance they're for sure going to be here within 30 minutes like you know so i'm like y'all i don't know so everybody's kind of like clearing the table cleaning stuff off whatever moving stuff back together and putting stuff back in order I go ahead and go to my apartment real quick. I change. Why I thought to change? I guess because I was like, the smell could be on me. Who cares? The, the smell is in the house. But y'all, at this point, I'm panicking. So I go there. I change. I brush my teeth and all of this. And I'm like, because I don't want them to. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But at this point, I'm panicking. So I'm like, okay. I go back over there. Within five minutes of me getting back over there, we're starting to hear sirens, right? We're hearing police sirens. We're hearing ambulance sirens. And at this point, I'm like, I, let me play dead at this point play dead because this this can't be real life right like so i'm just like this i just don't know what to expect but at this point we all just preparing ourselves for whatever we gotta take from this like you know and i'm like i just can't believe it and y'all at this point chadelle is actually kind of chill about what's going on so i'm like this is just crazy like how do we get done like you know talk about done done so okay. they start to get in they start to come and instantly they can smell what's going on, but they just asked for who's the person that, that that was called for. And we're like showing them Chanel, like she's okay now. She's good. She was just panicking. She's not feeling well, whatever. And they get to checking her, whatever. 
but like I said, the scent is there. And there's this black cop that comes in the house and he almost has a smirk on his face, y'all. It's like he knew instantly what happened. And he's just kind of like laughing like these girls is amateurs. Like, what are they doing? Why would they call the police with this? Like, you know, so he kind of pulls me and my friend to the side. He's like, y'all, it's not a secret. What's been, like, what happened here? Like, you know, I just don't know why y'all would call the police about this and stuff. And we were like, I don't even know why they called the police. Like, what is going to happen, you know? And he's like, I don't know. I don't make that decision or whatever. He said, but y'all should call her mom. And y'all, we've like I said, we've been friends for a while. So we know each other's moms and everything. So she calls her mom. Her mom's come up there. And she lives almost about an hour away from our college camps or our apartments that we were staying on, um, staying in. So we're just there with the police and everything. The ambulance go ahead on and leave before the mom gets there. But by the time the mom, the mom gets there, we're kind of just like sitting around like with the police or whatever. So the mom gets there, she's panicking. She's snapping on this like, why would y'all do that? Y'all up here for school. This is y'all problem. Always trying to be sneaky. This, this, that, you know, in the third, you know how mamas do it, whatever. Don't touch nothing. Don't break nothing. Don't ask for nothing to drink. Don't ask. So we all just sitting there taking the lecture, taking the lecture until she walk out. And then she goes in the room with Chanel and the police. And she's talking to Chanel and we end up giggling with each other, like laughing, like this is just stupid. Like this is so embarrassing, like, you know. So the black cop is just in there really laughing with us and chilling there. I go ahead to ask him like, so what's gonna happen after this? Like, are we gonna have to go with y'all? Will this go get back to the office? Like what's going on? And my friends are like, yeah, like, can we please like not let this get back to the office? Cause we all know if there's a situation where police comes to an apartment usually it's going to get back to the office and that can usually end with you getting put out and then since we are this was actually like a camp like an apartment that was affiliated with the campus it could get back to school so this could have just ended like so so bad so we're really trying to understand like how far this is going to go so we can know what to expect and he's like i mean i don't know we're going to let y'all as far as tonight we're going to let it go it's not going to go on anybody's record like y'all are going to be good but I don't know if we would have to report this to the apartment complex or whatever. And we're just like, oh my God, like, okay, we're blessed and we're cool now because we're like, okay, we're not going to do it. Nothing's happening to us, but we still worry because we don't know if this is actually going to get back to the apartment complex and just how far it's going to go, you know? So after the mama lectures and everything, I want to say y'all at this point, by the time everything cleared out, the police went on and left and then her mom went on and left. After all of that, I want to say at this point, it's about somewhere between like 3 and 4 a.m. So we go ahead on and lay down or whatever. And this happened on a Saturday. So on a Sunday, we meet back up. We just chilling. And we're just really waiting on Monday. And come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we didn't hear anything, y'all. So we got away smoothly with this. How? I don't know. That was God. Because what like how does it like who does that y'all and i can't believe this happened to us y'all and i feel like this is gonna happen to some other people because apparently it is a feeling that you may get confused with like you may feel like you about to die but i feel like everybody knows do not call the police just get through it but obviously my friends didn't and the people we had around us didn't either so that's a lesson if you're gonna participate in 420 keep calm be around people that have enough sense to not call the police okay but y'all yes that is the end of this story time i can't believe this happened y'all comment below let me know what y'all think if y'all had some of these type of experiences too hopefully not but if you have share them below so i don't feel like you know we were the only ones that took it that far but yes y'all go ahead on and comment make sure y'all like comment and subscribe as well follow my social media Click that notification bell too so you can know anytime I post another video. And thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.